Welcome to sewing class. This is Annette Julie and today we're working on darning a small hole doing the blanket stitch that we just did in part number one and now we're going to do the spider web stitch in part number two. So first go ahead and uh, watch the preparing your muslin video and then watch uh, part one of darning a small hole. Now we're on part number two. So, we just finished our last blanket stitch and I have not tied a knot. I need to go directly across to the other side, go in about a sixteenth of an inch, and catch it. And we've made our first cross stitch. Now, instead of coming back directly across, rotate to the next stitch. So we're going to come back and we're going to rotate over one stitch. I'm going to come up about a sixteenth of an inch so I'm halfway up that stitch, come up into that stitch and then you're going to rotate down here and go over one stitch go halfway up that stitch about a sixteenth of an inch and we're going to rotate our way around come back go to your next stitch go halfway up about a sixteenth of an inch pull the thread through Now we're down to the bottom, rotating our way around, connecting our stitches, and closing the hole. Don't let that pucker though, just keep that nice and flat. So I'm rotating around, going to the next stitch, going halfway up. Then coming back to the other side, catching that stitch. And I have wax on my thread so everything should glide nicely. You want to check both sides. Make sure I didn't have a long thread or something strange going on back there. This looks good. So if you've run out of wax, if you see your thread starting to separate, go ahead and get some more wax on from the project down to the needle eye. <clears throat> okay, let's continue on. Now we're going back over to the other side again. Halfway up that stitch. Catch that thread. Now we're coming back across. Halfway up that stitch. making our little spider's web. Rotating around. Make sure your threads are nice and flat. Like I said, make sure to check both sides. Going across. Halfway up that stitch. We are almost done. We're filling this hole up very nicely. You could do this on the inside of a sweater or a t shirt. And I think we have completed one full rotation there. Looks really good. Oops, don't want to pull that too tight. Just want to make sure. Yeah, that looks really nice. Hold that up to the light and I don't see any 
big holes in it. So we have this nice and flat. Let's go ahead and make our little lasso and make a point of tension here. And get that knot nice and flat and right where we want it without causing any puckers. Two knots should be sufficient. We'll trim our knot nice and close. And this is going to be our wrong side of the fabric, right? This would be like the inside of your garment, right? And on the other side, this would be the right side. And this is Annette Julie, and this is the end of part two, darning a small hole with a blanket stitch and a spider stitch. See you in the next video.